I really got to piss right now, like really bad. All right. <laughs> Extrapolate the day's thoughts into unfamiliar pictures painted on the inside of your eyelids during the split second decision your brain is making on whether or not to be real or to drown in the pool. There are trumpets, a cousin, bone chilling windstorm 1990 something. Backseat montage CD player drives through endless farm field telephone pole collections, throwing the car west for a couple of hours and then back again. Weekend drive yo-yos. Infused with the sensation of moving and going further, I continue this unpredictable rhythm into my adulthood. <coughs> Sorry. But let's go back again. Let's go back to this uh, close-eyed transaction, this lapse of my conscious life, back to eyelid dropping, burning heavy down over my pupils, and then blast, there it is, unfamiliar prints of sound backdrops, and then my head snaps back from its arch drooling position, awake once more, remember just now, just before, another confusion tangible for the pile. Always in a sleepy brainwave transition, these hypnotic visions visit me momentarily. Another half-unconscious dream world speculation. In these early frames of my here and now, I still cannot explain the extraterrestrial neuron explosion that takes place during my analysis of this space. Perception and nocturnal recollections? While deciphering these hieroglyphic thought fractals, I fear knowing the answers because answers are an end to an end to which there is no end. These questions never stop coming in. This here right now is the never-ending turnstile of intangible inquiry phone calls. I tell customer support that I have a problem with my operating system, but they just put me on hold. My nostalgic connections with quick second glances. I feel like I've been here before, I've been here in a dream. I once felt this moment, this feels like a familiar scene. Not belonging to my body in this time, but a collective blanket of some sort of universal mind. The sense of attachment to memories, not of my acquisition, puts me in a condition only comparable to undergoing large doses of tetrahydrocannabinol. Using words is a disgrace when trying to explain these dreamy brainwave transitions. <laughs>